drugstore makeup is killing it. There is so many good products out on the market right now. Now, some of these aren't like new, new as far as brand new releases, but they are new to me and I have been absolutely in love with them. So I'm going to show you all kinds of new stuff today. Also, please remember that I do have a numbering system, one to however many we get through today. And I will be putting that number up on the screen and then you can go down into the description box and shop that way if you'd like to. Before we get started, I'm gonna show you what I have on for a top and some jewelry because we like to do that on this channel as well. Okay, so for my top today, it's just a puff sleeve with a chiffon polka dot. It's got a short sleeve with a little gather right here, mid arm, and it does come down over the booty if you want it to. I love the princess neckline on this. It's so cute. And this is just a really comfortable, soft fabric. I am just wearing it with a pair of leggings, nothing special today, but I definitely wanted to share the top with you. And then also sharing the jewelry I have, a serpentine necklace, herringbone necklace, excuse me, in silver. But I just feel like should be a staple in any woman's wardrobe. I have mine in gold and I have mine also in silver. And then just a little drop rhinestone earring. Also, I feel like those should be staples because they're so easy to wear. But this watch that I have on, oh my goodness, how cute is this? It does have a little link right here that you can adjust. So if you have a smaller wrist or a bigger wrist, you can adjust that. It's in a bracelet style with a rectangle face and the rhinestones around it right there. Again, so cute. And it does have rhinestones on the band itself. Just really pretty, goes with just about anything and I love wearing it. All right, okay. let's get into the makeup. Now I did say makeup, but I do have several skincare items that I'm super excited about and I wanted to talk to you about. Let's talk about Good Molecules and their Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF of 30 that they came out with. Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Minimal White Cast Sunscreen Lotion, UVA and UVB protection for all skin types. Mineral sunscreens are notoriously that white cast that you get, and this one is not. This is a sink in super fast, lovely sunscreen that I can reapply over and over again throughout the day, and it never feels tacky or sticky or has that white cast at all, I absolutely love this. I think it's one of the best sunscreens I have found. You will never see that white cast. You don't have flashback if you're in photos and it wears so well under makeup. I think this is one of the better ones to hit the market in a long time and I just love it. Also, I have been trying the Aveeno Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser. I really like this, okay? I always use, uh, oil base or a balm to take off my makeup, but then I need something to go after it to take off that little bit of oily residue that's left behind. This does a great job. I just put a little bit in my hand with a little bit of water and emulsify it, and then you've got a little bit of a foaming cleanser. It's not really foaming, you know, as far as stripping or anything like that, but boy, it does the job in keeping your skin barrier intact, but really taking off that residue that you get after you do use any sort of oil. Great big huge bottle, which I love. This one I'm definitely excited about because I don't care if you are oily or dry, it doesn't matter anywhere in the in the spectrum there, you're going to be able to use this and it just does a really good job. I actually use it at night after my oil cleanser and I use it in the morning when I get up to take off all of the super heavy moisturizing products that I put on. This is a really great cleanser and I think you're gonna love it. I heard about this gold bond crepe corrector body lotion not very long ago on TikTok and I brought it to you in conjunction with another one of their products, the Gold Bond products. I think it was a body butter, but I've been really enjoying the crepe correcting lotion because I love what it's doing in, as far as softening my skin and really helping out all of that crepey skin. I get that crepey skin right here on my arms. I get it on my legs, especially on my calves. And this is really super moisturizing. Now this says it has omega fatty acid, antioxidants and botanicals. And it says 82% uh, had visible improvement in crepey skin in just two days. 
I feel like those claims are very real. I feel like it's very hydrating. I feel like it sinks in so well that it is moisturizing and not just sitting on the top of your skin. I've really been enjoying this one. So again, drugstore is hitting it out of the park. And then a serum that I'm so excited about. I have brought this to you before, but I bought the full size bottle and I wanted to talk to you about it again. It's the Derma E Ultra Lift DMAE Concentrated Serum copper peptides resveratrol cockadoo plum this is a super hydrating super peptide serum copper peptides are one of those peptides that is talked about so much because it's so beneficial to our skin peptides are the building blocks of amino, amino acids and collagen. That is what we're lacking as we age. So these serums do penetrate very deeply and they do help boost your elastin, your collagen, all of those things. Now they're not going to be any sort of a replacement for Retin-A or anything like that, but you definitely want something that is on the off days of your Trentinoin or your Retin-A. You want to be using some sort of a peptide to boost that efficacy of those products so i challenge you to really look into peptides because they are really good but when you do put it on clean dry skin it's going to sink in quickly and it's going to really help boost all the other skincare that you have i love peptides i think that they are very overlooked we talk about different things like right now snail mucin is the thing but i really think that you know even though that is hydrating we need to be looking at the ones that actually are producing benefits not just hydrating we need hydration but we also need those benefits and something with copper peptides and cockadoo plum and all of those things that's going to give you some really great benefits, especially on aging skin. So many of you have heard me talk and rave about the benefits of bifida and galactomyces. And I talk about those in different products. Like I first brought it to you in Cranicel. That was just a bifida serum. And then I brought it to you in the Benton Fermentation Essence. This one has um, bifida and gal galactomyces in it. Super great products. But I also am always looking for what is even better or what may even have better ingredients in it. And the reason that I went looking for something is because this had sold out. And the one that was being sold on Amazon, the Benton, that was being sold by a different company was almost three times the price of what this normally is and i don't want you to pay any more than you have to last year i did find the nimbusin line and i think that it's such a good line of products and i am always looking into what what else a company has like Benton has a really good, and I won't talk about it too much right now, but it is a snail mucin and it's also a bee venom. And I, that's what I use instead of Cozarex. And I'll just put that on the screen and then I'll make sure that I link that down below for you. But Nambuzin has this skin softening, pore refining treatment. But as I got to looking, I just want to read to you some of the ingredients that it has in here. So it does have the bifida and the galactomyces. It has niacinamide, which we know niacinamide is such a great pore refiner. This one also has adenosine in it. And I just want to read to you something really interesting that I found about adenosine. It says... Um, this 2020 study notes that adenosine is effective at treating wrinkles and can stimulate fibroblasts in the skin. Fibroblasts are a type of, of cell that secretes collagen proteins and plays a role in wound healing, which helps reduce the appearance of wrinkles. So I thought that that was really great. It also has some anti-inflammatory properties. It also has panthenol in it, which can improve wound healing. It's a great moisturizer. The Korean skincare is so far ahead of the game as far as anti-aging and really keeping our skin looking its very best for the very longest time possible. But this is a great product that I have found very recently and researched the ingredients and I am really enjoying it. Okay, now on to the makeup. I did want to share with you this little palette that came out from ColourPop. It is what I have on my eyes today. It's called Petals on Point and 
the reason that I'm bringing it to you is because it is so hard for me as I am fair to find really beautiful palettes that are fair enough to not overwhelm my skin. I haven't started self tanning yet. I'm just kind of getting over, you know, not feeling that great and moving and all that stuff. But I do want to show you the colors in here and I think they're really gorgeous. So you do have this row right here of kind of darker tones that are very easy for anybody to wear across the board. But these other tones that are down here on the bottom, or if you flip it, it's on the top. But anyway, these are super light tones and I love that. And the reason that I'm so enamored with this is number one, I absolutely love this light, light pink. It's what I wore all over dusted on my eyes today. And you can barely see it on my hand right here. And that's okay for me because when you find something like that, that works really well and you can dust it all over your eyes and use it as a base, it's perfect to start off an eye look. And then also I loved that they put this white in here. I know that, that a satin or a semi shimmer white like that doesn't have a use in every single palette, but I love to use it in my inner corner just barely and kind of feathered into the rest of the eye look on the eyelid. And it works out so well for me to be able to brighten my eyes, super brighten my eyes. The brown that in here doesn't pull either warm or cool. It's just very neutral and I like the dark brown for that too. So I feel like this is one of the better palettes they, that they have brought out in a long time. Now, if you have not had a chance to try the Revlon Illuminance new foundation, I want to suggest that you do. If you're somebody that is always looking for glowy, dewy skin from their foundation, but you can't find it, especially in a drugstore product, I feel like Revlon hit it out of the park. It is what I have on today, and I did powder down my face a little bit, but what I found was that foundation is so pretty and so glowy that it didn't take away the glow or the illuminance of the foundation when I did put the powder on. This is the Skin Caring Foundation. It says that it has 5% squalane and hyaluronic acid in it. I think it's the squalane that really gives it the moisturizing property and then that dewy property afterwards. It does last a long time. I have been able to very easily get 10 hours of wear out of it before I felt like it was wearing at all. I just really have been enjoying this and I wanted to bring it to you before and I think I may have just mentioned it in a video before, but I definitely Definitely wanted to showcase it to show you how pretty it was. I feel like it's medium coverage that can be built up, but I also would say that if you want that glowy natural look to it, just use your concealer on a finger or Q-tip or you know a brush, whatever, to spot conceal and then put this on and you're gonna have a very, very natural, very glowy, dewy look to your skin beautiful foundation and I'm really excited to see this one. Also, I want to tell you that I did finally, and I had so many of you say, try the new Physicians Formula and I think this is the Butter uh, butter Glow Concealer from Physicians Formula. Now I will say that this particular one was quite yellow and I did have to wear another uh, concealer right here inside which kind of lightened it up just a little bit. I believe this one is the light not the fair one and so I would say that if you're somebody with my coloring as I looked at this it was medium to tan which is crazy. Anyway they only have I think I want to say they have like six or seven shades. So this one was a little dark for me. We do need more shades obviously than just six, but I do think that this is a really good concealer. It concealed really well. It didn't accentuate fine lines or wrinkles underneath my eyes. And I do always have to set my concealer down with a little bit of powder. So that being said, this is more of a radiant concealer. You will have to set it down. It's not gonna self set like some others will if you do have that problem with it looking a little bit more dry anyway. This one might be one that you really do like. I thought it was a really good one. One of the things that came out very recently that I'm so impressed with is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. Now, they obviously were looking to um, kind of dupe, yes, they said the word, dupe the uh, Benefit Roller Lash. I think that this is a better one personally because when I did try the Benefit Roller Lash, it didn't do a lot as far as separating my lashes or giving a great length, and it definitely didn't do much for giving me a lot of volume, but this one does it all. And I'm really 
I'm really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. Now I will say after wearing it for 10 to 12 hours, it will start to flake a little bit. I don't have a problem with that normally, as long as it's not smudging. Flaking doesn't bother me at the end of the day. If it was happening, you know, really early, then I would complain a lot, but I've really been enjoying it because I feel like my lashes look fantastic. They're very, very lengthened and I can separate. The wand is a plastic bristle brush or a silicone and I really feel like I can separate really well super black which I love and it just works out so well for me so I really have been enjoying this one I think they knocked it out of the park with this one and great mascara I think I've talked about this in the favorites one time but I wanted to showcase it as well all right so Juvia's Place came out with some of the prettiest blushes and I was all over it, but I will tell you at $18, I do feel like this is like not quite at drugstore prices. I, I really think that we're getting up there and I realize that, you know, times are changing. It's harder to get in the ingredients. I understand all that. I do really love this particular color that is like a bubblegum pink. I will tell you in just a second what it is. This is gorgeous. You need just a dab of this and you have a really, really long lasting, beautiful blush and they really just blend out super pretty. And let me show you what the other color is. First, let me tell you what that color was. This one is called Blush Lily. Now I will say that that one has been out of stock for a while great blush formula though and like i said i do feel like it is a little bit more pricey but they're just they're beautiful you can see how pigmented they are how they really are just blending out very very easily this one is called peach rose now both of these are gorgeous but i did find this one on amazon and i don't know what the name of this is exactly the color is called hope I am wearing this one today and I do feel like it does have that pigment. This is nowhere near as expensive as the Juvia's Place are and this one's a little bit lighter because obviously you can see in the tube the color is lighter. But I do feel like these are every bit as nice. I think I want to say that this was about $10. It might have even been cheaper. I'll make sure that I link it so that you can know that. But the colors are beautiful in all of these. I just think that, you know, if we can find something that is just as nice but less expensive, yay, you're going to get just as good of payoff of color and you're going to get the lasting power. I just, I think they're so pretty, all of them. But I do think if you need to save some money, then you definitely want to look at the ones off of Amazon. Now, I will also tell you that I also found these ones. These ones remind me of the shape of the jar of NARS. And I am wearing this one today. And this one is, it's just called 04 on the bottom of it. Oh, no, it's called Glistening Rose. I am wearing this one today. Now, they can't come out and they're like, almost look almost like a nail polish. And even the applicator is a brush. But... I love these. There is something so great about these and they're super duper pigmented, but they blend out very, very easily and they are great on your skin. You have it there all day long. It is just, it is a beautiful, beautiful blush formula. And this one is 03 Sparkling Peach. I don't know where my other one went. I'm in the middle of this move. There's, I, it seems to me like there was a third one. It might have only been two of them, but you know how that goes with me. Maybe or maybe not. So I love these. I think that liquid blush is all the rage right now. I think that you can find some that are definitely just as beautiful as the high-end ones, but won't cost you as much, and they last just as long. So these liquid ones are beautiful blushes and definite payoff on those as well. Let's round it off with the lips. This is the Shine Lipstick from Revlon. This is such a luxe looking lipstick. Let me just show you the packaging first. It's so pretty. It's got the clear here, the clear here, and the gold band. So pretty. And I love that Revlon really keeps their lipsticks still looking very luxe and yet the price tag isn't very high. This one is a mauve color. I love this new shine formula. If you're somebody that loves a one and done look where you just, you don't have to put on anything, no liner, no lipstick, no lip gloss, 
and you just want all of those together, you can use these shine products and really just be out the door really quickly. This is a formula that's not going to last as long as if you did a lipstick that was more matte, but you know, shine products have a tendency to be that way anyway. I always touch my lipstick up several times after I eat or after I'm drinking or even talking a lot during the day. These are beautiful, beautiful lipsticks, and I think Revlon did a great job with it. That is it for today's video, and I hope that you did enjoy seeing so many of the products that I've been trying recently, and I feel like Drugstore is just knocking it out of the park. I am so excited about that foundation from Revlon, and I am also really excited about that nine pan eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. I just think it's so pretty. I'm excited about all of these, but I'm really excited also about the skincare that I showed you in here. I think it's really great skincare. So please tell me down in the comments section if you have tried anything that you feel like from the drugstore or anywhere else that you feel like is just really knocking it out of the park. I'd love to hear that from you. Hope that you're all doing really well. I love you so much and I'll see you again in my next video. Take care my friends, goodbye.